here we go. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry for any of you who tuned in. It just wasn't showing me that the stream was going before. <laughs> so it looks like everything should be good now. Feel free to drop a comment and let me know that it's working properly and that you can hear me. I know that there's a little background noise. So please bear with me with that. Um, I have the vent going so that the steam doesn't end up like hitting my phone. So that way you can see what I'm what I'm doing here. So anyway, um, I am working on dyeing a vintage garment. I don't normally dye vintage pieces, but this one I feel like it's one of the only options that I have here for it. Um, my water was a little hot, so I'm bringing the temperature down, which is fine. I'd rather have it a little hot first and bring it down than the opposite with the fabric still in there. So I've never really worked with this kind of dye before, so getting ready to do that. Um, this is going to be the dye that I'm using. Like, I've never used this one before, but I did a lot of research and this seems to be one of the best options. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm reading all of the instructions now to see what steps I need to follow two of them today. So for the amount of fabric that we're washing, I'm going to do two of these, or dyeing rather, <laughs> and hopefully that's going to be enough. It is about, I'm going to say like three pounds of fabric, so we should be good there. So this is the first step that I need to do is take the dye and mix it into water separately. So I'm going to do that first. Also, if you guys want to help out, please make sure that you comment and share the live. Um, that way other people see what we're doing here. Hi, is it Kaya? Nice to see you, Kaya. I'm glad that everything seems to be working well now. But yes, if you want to help out so that way other people see what we're doing here, make sure you share and you comment or like it. Anything like that will help if you want to. No pressure, of course. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this up now. Like it says, it's just to put it in a separate container first with cool water and stir the dye in, dissolve it, and then pour it into the pot. So that's what we're doing. So it's all nice and dissolved in there. Hi, cat! Also, feel free too to tell me where you're tuning in from in the comments. I'd love to see where it is that you guys are coming in from. It's really cool to see all the different areas that we reach and how we all get to come together in one place. All right, so I'm pouring that dye into the pot. I'm trying to be very careful not to get that fabric dye on it, so keeping everything separated. Go out the garbage. Okay, so now I'm going to stir this up to make sure it's all nice and dissolved. Kaya from Denmark. That's awesome. Also, is it Kaha? Ka Kaya? Am I saying that right? Please let me know. Sarah. Hey, Sarah. From South Devon in the UK. Oh, cool. Okay, so now we've got the water is nice and hot. The dye has all been absorbed in and um, emulsified or whatever you want to say, dissolved. That's what I was looking for. So now I'm going to quickly wet the garment in my sink I have right over here, and then we're going to add it to this. And I'm a little nervous. I don't know if I put too much water in here. But we're going to find out. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and wet the fabric. I don't think anybody really quite knows what piece I'm working on yet, so I'm kind of excited. It's like a fun surprise. Alright, so I got it all wet. Let me 
construction said. Now we're going to add it to the pot. Don't overflow. Oof, there might be a little too much water in the pot, but. I'm hoping the fabric will absorb more of it. There's only so much I can do because I need to be able to keep it hot on a stove top, but this is the biggest pot that I have. Uh oh. Alright, we might have to get a little creative here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drain a little bit of the water so that I can move it around in the pot more. So the instructions say for the first 10 minutes to so just kind of keep it moving. So I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. There we go. And I'm going to do my best to just saturate this as much as possible. If I end up having to do a second dye bath on this, that is fine. I'm totally willing to do that. I'm going to bring that temperature down a little bit more because I can't stir it as well. I don't want anything like sitting on the bottom. This is definitely going to be an interesting process. Hiya. Oh good, I'm glad. Beverly, turn off the heat. Yeah, I'm turning it down real low, but I do need to keep the heat on, it says. So I'm just, I'm going to have it on a nice low heat now that I have the water up to temperature. That way we don't risk damaging the garment on the bottom of the pan or anything. What I'm probably going to end up doing too after this first few minutes is put on gloves and try to manipulate it a little bit if I can't get it to manipulate with my little spoon here, you know, trying not to splash anything. It does seem to be taking to the dye so far. Ooh, I'd love it if I could like turn it a bit. There we go. Yeah. And then after the first 10 minutes, I'm supposed to put a couple tablespoons of salt in here or teaspoons. Obviously, I will check the instructions before I add anything. Um, but yeah, it just says kind of keep the, it says to stir, but honestly, with the size of the pot and the size of the garment, there's not a lot of stirring I can do here. So I'm really just trying to keep the dye moving through the fabric the best that I can given the situation. Kind of like I'm not wringing it, but I am like squeezing some of that through. Ideally, I'd have a much bigger dye pot <laughs> for a garment this size, but it is what it is. We're working with it. Ouch. Also, it's hot, so <laughs> you need a gumbo pot. Yeah, turn it straight, Sandra. <laughs> if the pot is thin at the bottom and stir it. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. Thankfully, it's a bit of a thicker pot. It's not like a thin aluminum one. So I'm not too, too worried about scorching, but I am trying to keep that, that heat on really low. So that way the water doesn't lose temperature, but it also doesn't burn the garment. It's gonna be tricky. And I can't say that this is something I'm super experienced with. So. <laughs> Gently trying to turn it as I go a little bit here.
That was a good full turn. It definitely seems like it's grabbing the color, which is awesome. But we really won't know until we do that rinse at the end. So hopefully it's not blue. How long does the process take? Well, it takes, okay, 10 minutes first, it says, um, of it just sitting in the dye vat and doing this stirring. And then it says you put in salt, and I'll read the instructions on how much, but then you have to do this for like another 20 minutes or so, it says, of just manipulating it in the water and making sure that nothing scorches, you know? I have in the past tried to dye like a personal garment of mine. I can't remember, I think it was a dress or something of mine. And it didn't go very well. I wasn't using the right kind of dye, I think, for the type of fabric I had. Um, so what I was really concerned about with this was like blotchiness and almost like that tie dye effect, which I did not want, um, unless it turned out really cool, you know? <laughs> um, but so far, it's definitely looking better than the one or two times I've tried to do stuff like this in the past. Doing it on a garment this large is definitely new. <laughs> Are you gonna do this more than once? Always looks gray, I've only dyed once. I will see. I tried to do a lot of research on a good dye that will hold the color and look solid without having to do it multiple times. I think I would dye it again, like if it turned out splotchy in any way, but if I rinse it out and I dry it, um, this isn't a garment that you wear every day. It's a wedding dress. So as long as I can make sure that there's no like dye bleed or anything like that, if it's holding the color, then it's good to go. That way we're not worried about like anything transferring to the skin or whatever, but it's not like it's going to need to hold up to, you know, a lifelong amount of washes in the washer, you know, once or twice a week. So the goal is to get it heavily pigmented no dye bleed and even <laughs> turning it a bit now here so that this isn't all sitting on the bottom my arms are gonna be tired after this you guys <laughs> they're already tired after my weekends um but yeah anyway if you want to help out with the stream because i see there's quite a few of you here if you want to just share the live stream so people see what we're doing comment like where you're tuning in from or ask questions for example sandy why are you not wearing rubber gloves um because i'm not always the smartest cookie you know and uh what's a little black dye on your hands it, it's cool it'll be fun it'll look like it, i did something i don't know but as of right now it, it's not really getting on my hands so we're good so far and if it does it most likely will come off with like peroxide or alcohol and if not it'll come off over time <laughs> i'm not too terribly worried Okay, we've got two more minutes left of doing this before I add in the salt. I've got the burner on next to nothing when it comes to heat, but just enough to keep that water warm while we're working with this. gently push the product through the fabric without damaging the fibers. I'm 
G, I love how gentle you're being. Dying vintage pieces makes me so nervous. Yeah, is it Dre or Drea? 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 But yes, I'm trying so hard to be gentle with this. It's also a lot of fabric. So I'm trying to like slowly push the product through it so that I don't end up with like, you know, gaps in the middle and patchiness, but gotta be really careful at the same time. Seems to be going pretty well though. Okay, we're down to the last few seconds here. So I'm gonna turn that timer off so it doesn't start yelling at us. I can also turn off the fan so we don't have that going on in the background. There we go. So now we just need my dishwasher. You all are here. So now we have to add some salt to what it says. So it says add three tablespoons of salt. So I used two packets. So I think that's going to be about six tablespoons of salt. Let me see what I have here. There we go. Seems to be about enough. I'll move the garment aside a little bit as much as I can. And add in the salt. And then we're going to set a timer for 20 minutes, it said. So I'm going to stir this up and get it nice and nice and distributed. I've never had to add salt. I mean, again, I've only done this, I think, like two times before, so it's not like I have a whole lot of experience with this. It's, I, it is a learning experience, and that's why I chose a gown where I didn't really have many other options, so that if it doesn't go as planned, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's still trying to make sure that it has a second chance, and I feel like this is going to be one of the best ways for it to have that second chance, which is why I'm taking these measures. Thankfully, my stove top is black. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do like a full turn of this garment here slowly. There we go. Yep. Salt sets the dye. Thank you, Debbie. That makes sense. <laughs> and can't wait to see it when it's done. Oh, me too. I'm excited. So now we got 18 minutes of kind of just working it into the water, making sure it doesn't rest on the bottom for too long and that everything's staying nice and saturated. Right now, this color's looking pretty solid. Like I'm, I'm happy with this so far. Manipulating it as I can, not too much pressure. We also don't want to, you know, tear anything. Another good turn here if I can. There we go. Come on. I don't want to touch it. Well, so far, it's looking really solid. Hope it's not going to trick me. <laughs> I have had once before where I was trying to dye one of my own things and it was looking really good like in the pot and it looked like the color was really holding and all of that ouch hot. Um, and then I went to rinse it out and like all of the color left. All of it. I was, I was very disappointed. We've got about 15 minutes left of doing this now. But so far, so good. Why such a small pot? Because it was literally the biggest one I had. <laughs> and today I woke up and I was like, what is something I could do that would really make my heart happy? And I was like, I have really been wanting to do this piece. And so even though I didn't have a larger pot, I knew I could make it work. Um, and I knew I had the dye and everything else that I needed. So it was one of those like, you know what? My heart is in it right now. So it'll, it'll turn out just fine. <laughs> I 
Uh, Amanda, that paddle spoon literally looks like it was made for this exact purpose. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that. I, I got this spoon in like a bundle of kitchenware from a thrift store because I needed like new spatulas and stuff. And I don't really know what it's intended for, but I've used it for all sorts of random things. <laughs> But you're right, it totally looks like it's the perfect thing for this. <laughs> okay, now we're exactly at the 15 minute mark. Let that rest there for a second, get some tea. Over the weekend, um, I had gone to a river here in Washington and had gone floating and um, I actually ended up getting pulled under the water. There were like some little rapids that we hit and <laughs> I ended up exhausting myself trying to get out because it's a very different experience than um, swimming like through a riptide in Florida, you know, where you kind of go with it and you don't fight it and you can kind of like work your way out. Whereas when you're dealing with a place here like in Washington, where it's a um, more like those rapids kinds of areas. There's a lot of rocks, so <laughs> it's a lot harder to work your way out. Um, but thankfully I survived. I just, I did get beat up pretty bad, but I'm, my arms are so tired and I didn't even think about that because of like trying to fight my way out of it, not knowing that you could just, you know, go belly up and float your way out of it basically <laughs> by going parallel and very gently kicking. You know, I, I learned a lesson. But um, yeah, because of all of that, my arms are very, very tired and I coughed up a lot of water that day. So my voice has been raspy, <laughs> but it was definitely an experience. It was a beautiful day out. It was great. I really enjoyed the, the trip and getting to go with everyone. And it was for my sister's birthday, so totally worth it. But that was, that was an experience of a lifetime, I think. <laughs> so stirring this, I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I want to try to turn it again here, so I'm going to dip this part kind of downwards if I can. Ah, I'm going to touch it. There we go, come on. Give me another good flip like you did earlier. You can do it. There we go, now it's getting there. keeps trying to flip back the other way. There we go. Aha! Now my fingers are going to get a little dirty. <laughs> uh, let's see, is the water too hot to wear gloves? Yeah, it's too hot. I would just melt them, I think, honestly. The wooden utensil you're using is, looks like it's a butter paddle. Oh, wouldn't that be neat? So yeah, my uncle lives in Seattle. He has some stories about how different it is from the Midwest. Oh, yes. Well, being from Florida, my, my very southern <laughs> roots, you know, um, it, it has a lot of differences. It has some similarities, which can be fun. But I mean, I moved here over four years ago, and I don't regret a minute of it. I love it here in Washington. All right, it looks like we have about 10 minutes left of this. And then I get to drain it and rinse it, I believe. It says, oh, boom. After 20 minutes have passed, remove the garment from the pot and hand wash with cold water until the water comes out clear. Do not twist. And then air dry, it looks like. That's cool. Well, it is the perfect day outside today for air drying. What are you all up to today?
Drea, does the dye have a strong smell? Not at all, actually. Like, I don't, I don't smell anything, surprisingly. Tony, I'm watching from Somerset in UK. Oh, cool. Thanks for watching, Tony. Oops. <laughs> Again, good thing that my stove top is black. LB, watching from Alford, Florida. Oh, cool. Okay. Kelly, trying to stay cool down in Vancouver, Washington. It's going to be 98. Thank goodness for AC. Yeah, I'm over here in Tacoma. And although it's not going to be, I think, that hot today, it is still going to be pretty toasty. So, <laughs> uh, Debbie, it's 6.30 a.m. here in New Zealand on a Wednesday morning. Busy packing as we're moving. Well, I wish you luck with your moving. Make sure to take plenty of breaks. Make sure to stay hydrated. <laughs> moving can be really stressful. And from Leeds in the UK. Cool. Try to make sure I see your comments here. Uh, from Denmark. Tammy, what in the world? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dying something, Tammy. <laughs> Watching from Manchester. Pat, is it for Halloween? It's not for Halloween, technically. Could it be used for something around Halloween? Absolutely. Um, but that is not the, the purpose of the color. North Cal Cal California. Oh, Northern California isn't too, too far. From Twin Bridges, Montana, watching from Oklahoma City. It's gonna be 105. Wow, Janine. Love watching you create. Well, thank you. <laughs> Some might argue that today I'm, I'm destroying, but I like to think that I'm creating. I'm recreating today, <laughs> which is not, not my usual thing, I guess. But I think, I think people will be interested to see how this turns out. Enjoying the AC here in Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> It's really weird because, I, like I said earlier, I moved here from Florida. I moved to Washington State from Florida. And I did not believe that there could be a state where, like, hardly anyone had actual AC. Like, that just did not seem to make any sense to me. It made no logical sense, and I did not believe it was true. And then I moved here, and I found out that it is very true. <laughs> and it's been an interesting adventure knowing that most places don't have central AC. So far, I don't think I've splashed anything on myself, but just in case, I'm gonna put on my little apron. And now that the water is no longer like super hot, it's still hot, but it's not super hot. I can let it sit for a minute without it, without freaking out about it, you know? There we go. Enjoying the AC. Oh yeah, I did read that, good. There we go. Oh, it's my dishwasher draining. I was like, oh my God, where is that water coming from? It's looking pretty good though. I am hopeful. We're at this, we have seven minutes left, which is not a long time left here. Oh, also, I know I told you guys earlier that you want to help the stream, you can like share and comment. But another thing you can do too is you could always send stars. Those help me directly, um, but no pressure there either. This is looking pretty good. Again, I really hope it's not just tricking me. Sorry. 
Like when it hits the air and drains out some of the water, it's not turning like blue or gray. It's keeping that pigmented, that heavily pigmented color. So I'm hopeful. But still, still not sold. We'll see. Hi, hot, 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 hot. Turn. There we go. Ha ha. Five minutes left. Nancy, oh mine, you were brave. <laughs> I don't know, I, maybe I'm just super curious. <laughs> also, I did do a lot of research prior to this to try to find the right dye for this specific item. And I did as much as I could to prepare. So it's gonna be my best educated guess on if I'm doing this right or not and if it's gonna work. <laughs> but if it does, that's gonna be one more thing that I've learned how to do. Not that I plan on making a habit of something like this, but for the occasional need. Just a few more minutes of this now. You should have an ASMR channel. This is relaxing. <laughs> I like when I'm doing the certain restoration work to be able to like have some music on in the background and just kind of be a spot where people can come and hang out and relax. Um, so I'm glad that it ends up being a relaxing thing. It's why sometimes if I'm doing restorations and I know it's going to be kind of like frantic, I don't always do a live stream. Like I'm doing a bunch of wedding dress restorations that I've been talking about. And I did them, like, a lot of them kind of around the same time. I still got some work to do on some of them. But it was, like, one after another after another. And there were sometimes two in the wash tub at the same time. So I didn't want to, like, have this chaotic live stream where I'm not able to pay attention to anyone else and all of that. Because I wanted to get, like, the six done really quickly. Um, so I've had some people that are like, but I didn't get to see you, like, do this one live. And I had so many questions on your process. And I feel bad. But it's, like... I also have had so many people that are like, where are all of your wedding dress restorations? When are you going to show more of them? When are you going to do more of them? So I was like, well, I could do a bunch of them. It's just not going to be very fun to like watch me do a bunch of them all at once. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Gracie, Northwest Florida here. Hot, hot. My black is it an order or an experiment. And it's an experiment. It's definitely an experiment. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we just talked about the ASR channel thing. All right, two more minutes. And again, it's, it's looking pretty good so far. I really hope it doesn't disappoint. One more minute, everyone. Jay, your videos are great. My husband even likes watching them. He needs a series. Oh, thank you. I'm really glad. 
Gracie, okay, love your restorations. They are amazing. Well, thank you. I know that this one's gonna be a little out of the norm for what we normally go for, um, but I think it's a result that if it goes well, a lot of people are gonna be happy about. I think it's gonna be fun. We're at that last minute. My poor arms. All right, so now that that's completing, turn that off so it doesn't yell at us, I'm gonna rinse this out and I'm not gonna show that process because I really need to be able to focus on it um, when I'm working with the dye so that it doesn't go everywhere. But make sure that you like and follow in that jazz because very soon I'll be showing you guys the results. I'm super excited. Kristen, black is a very hard color to achieve in dyeing. Yes, this is why I'm nervous. <laughs> Jerry, a black wedding dress right before spooky season, count me in. That's kind of what I was hoping is like, with it being a black wedding dress that it was in a season close enough that if anybody still needed one for like the October-ish kind of season, that it would be ready to go. So I'm, I'm hopeful. Linda, where do you find wedding dresses to restore or repurpose? Uh, everywhere. I find them at estate sales, thrift stores, people donate them. I find them, I used to find them like on Facebook Marketplace, on Craigslist, on, uh, uh, what, what is it called? OfferUp, all sorts of places, <laughs> they're all over. Um, okay, so everyone, thank you for watching and sharing and all of that jazz. And please make sure that you check my page for any updates on this. And if you're looking for any second chance pieces of vintage, please check out my shop. My link is both in my bio and here in this live stream. So if you check out my shop, I've got a lot of things there from gowns to jewelry. I've got a lot of vintage jewelry right now and I'm gonna be posting a lot more. Um, and then I also have like accessories and it's not just wedding dresses that I have on there. So please go take a look because that's what really uh, helps me pay my bills, to be honest. And I work hard on those pieces to try to find them a second chance. So check out my shop and yeah, I'll talk to you guys all soon. That link I said is here in the live stream, but you can also find it in my bio. And I'll be really excited to show you guys the results of this one. Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs>